Hey everybody, welcome to part 2 of my updated AirPods user guide and tutorial, how to customize your AirPods. In this 4 part video series, I'll be going over how to set up your AirPods using iOS 12 and sharing everything you need to know about them, including how to use them with all your various Apple devices and showing you how to both use and customize them to meet your needs. So stay tuned! When you double tap your AirPods, this by default invokes Siri to help you control them. But what if you don't like talking to Siri to control your AirPods? Or use them often in locations that don't have the internet connection Siri needs to operate, like the subway. Then you can customize the double tap feature. You can set each AirPod with a different double tap feature. There are some limitations, but I've personally found this more useful than using Siri. To customize the double tap feature, first connect your AirPods to your iPhone. Then on your iPhone, go to the Bluetooth menu. The easiest way to do this would be to 3D press on settings and then press Bluetooth to bring up the Bluetooth menu. But you can also do this by pressing settings and then scrolling to and pressing the Bluetooth option in the menu. Once in the Bluetooth menu, locate your AirPods and press the I to the right and access the AirPods settings. Once you're in the AirPods settings menu, locate the section in the middle with the title Double Tap on AirPod. Here you can set up both the left and right AirPods separately. Just tap on the desired AirPod to customize the settings for double tapping the selected AirPod. In this example, I'm going to customize the left AirPod by tapping left. Apple currently gives you the option to have a double tap play pause, play the next track, previous track, invoke Siri, or turn off double tap altogether. I found with my testing that I like to have the left double tap set to play pause and the right double tap to play next track, but you can customize this to meet your individual needs. The only downside is that there really isn't a handy way to control the volume without Siri, other than pressing the volume buttons on your iPhone, which isn't overly handy when it's in your pocket. Hopefully, Apple will give us some sort of Siri-less volume control with them in the future. But for now, you're either stuck using Siri or directly changing the volume on your iPhone, unless you have an Apple Watch, which I'll get into more in Part 4, AirPods, Daily User Tips and Bonus Tricks. While we're here, I'll also go over the other options in the AirPods Settings menu, so you can learn how to customize and control your AirPods to the fullest. In the AirPods Settings, you can rename your AirPods in case you don't like the default name Apple chooses, which is usually the iPhone user's first name's AirPods. In my case, Burt's AirPods. Just tap the name section to edit this to your heart's content. You can also control some of the more advanced features of your AirPods. First, you can choose whether or not to have automatic ear detection turned on or not. I recommend leaving it turned on, as it will automatically connect them to the last device they were used with when you put them in your ears, which is pretty handy. But you can also choose which microphone is used for telephone conversations. Default is set to automatically switch AirPods, which I would recommend leaving it set that way unless you have a specific reason to change it, as the automatic setting will go back and forth between the mics and use the one with the strongest source. Also in the settings menu, you can manually disconnect the AirPods or even uninstall them by using the Forget This device, which will not only uninstall them from your iPhone, but also remove them from your iCloud account, which in turn will uninstall them from all of your Apple devices, so be careful with that button. And to learn more about how to use your AirPods with your other Apple devices or even non-Apple devices, check out part 3, How to Use Your AirPods with Other Apple Devices and More. And don't forget to check out other parts of this user guide, part 4, AirPods Daily User Tips and Bonus Tricks, and part 1 about AirPods basic setup and use. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching! I'll see you in part 3, how do you use your AirPods with other Apple devices, and more.